Okay. Genuine question. Does anyone know what they're doing? I grew up thinking, oh, there will be a certain point at which I'm an adult and I will have figured this whole life thing out. 25 was definitely the age that I imagined when I was a teenager, which, huh. but then at 25, I had friends who were getting married, having kids, buying houses, running businesses, doing adult things. And I thought, well, eventually it'll happen for me too. But then the rest of my 20s and into my 30s, I have felt this chasm opening wider and wider between me and my peers because I do not know what I am doing anymore now at 31 than I did at 21, if I'm being honest. Like I might know more things, but in knowing more, I also feel like I know less, if you know what I mean. And I'm starting to think that anyone who tells you that they have it figured out is lying to themselves or to you. I think the biggest lie we're told as kids is that you'll figure it out. That age and growth and experience will provide you all the answers you need to feel like you're doing it. You're successful, you're happy, you fulfilled your life's mission. And maybe I'm a little cynical these days because I rode into my 30s with the global pandemic with no real end in sight. But at least for me, believing that there is an answer that I had to figure out in order to live my life appropriately has been kind of a barrier to my own happiness. Instead, I'm kind of coming to the conclusion that no one really has it figured out. In fact, the people that seem to have it the most figured out might be the ones who recognize that they don't know what they're doing. Now, I'm not saying live your life by the city of pants, don't plan for anything, YOLO, but rather there's a certain level of freedom in accepting that you might not check all the boxes. Who decides what the boxes are anyway? I spend a lot of time trying to make other people happy. Basically everybody, but myself. And then when I'm alone, I'm all sad and like, this isn't what I want my life to be. But I'm too exhausted from doing all the things I think I'm supposed to do in order to make everyone else happy, proud, etc., etc., to make most of the changes I think are necessary in order to live a life that makes me happy. I make small changes where I can. I'm all about those small steps toward big goals, but it rarely feels like enough. There's still this intense frustration. Frustration at the way the world is unfair, at what society expects of me as a millennial, a woman, a daughter, a creative. And when I think about the life I've lived thus far and the choices that I've made, usually because I've been trying to avoid something, I've almost always ended up right where I don't want to be because of that avoidance. So to be painfully honest, the example of my 20s is that when I graduated college, I was like, I don't wanna get married. I don't wanna have kids. I don't want anything to hold me back from my creative dreams and aspirations. Now there's a lot of reasons for those feelings that we could unpack. Thank you, therapy. But at my core, I am deeply a romantic. And so I ended up in a relationship with someone who also didn't want those things. And it seemed like the perfect setup. The downside, it was a long distance relationship for five years. Five years I spent running up and down the road, spending money I didn't have, making career and life decisions to prioritize our time together. And then he decided he didn't want to be with me anymore. And to tell you I was angry is an understatement. So yeah, I was angry at him at first, but the more I processed it, the more I realized that I wasn't so much angry at him as I was angry at myself because I wasn't actually trying to avoid marriage or kids or whatever. I wanted to not be held back. And I assumed a husband or family or house would do that because that's what I had observed in my life thus far. But in fact, I am the one who held me back all by myself. Anyway, all this is to say, I think we lie to ourselves when we think we know what we're doing. So maybe give yourself a little grace today. It's the holiday season. Don't put so much pressure on yourself trying to impress your family or your hometown friends, your social media friends. And as we go into the new year, stop trying to make everybody but yourself happy. If you enjoyed this video, essay, whatever it is, I don't know what I'm doing on the internet anymore, then remember to subscribe and turn on that notification so you actually see when there is a new video of mine. And you can also follow me over on Instagram for all the rest of your Caitlin creative content. I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>